Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is gonna be a interesting one. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for a couple days of my life. I have a couple appointments to do, a couple of errands to run, and I'm gonna bring you guys with to all of them. The first and probably most exciting one is something I've been thinking about doing for like years, and I just like never got around to like actually looking into it that much. And the past two weeks, as I've been complaining about in my vlogs, my head has been hurting so, so bad for like weeks straight. And it's mostly due to me clenching my jaw literally 24 seven. Like I, consciously tell myself to stop clenching my jaw and then I'll stop and it'll like bivers is a gross word but that's what it feels like because it's like so sore from constantly clenching that like if I tell myself to stop clenching it like quivers because it's so tired um and then literally 10 seconds later I'll think about it again and I'm already clenching so first of all it messes up my teeth and my dentist tell me like I'm messing up my back teeth because I'm clenching so hard constantly it leads to me getting headaches all the time so i finally did some research and today i have a consultation at a botox place so we're gonna see what they say um did i even say what i was talking about masseter botox i don't know if i did but basically i am looking to get botox basically in my muscle that's back here it's called your masseter muscle and that's what like controls like your jaw clenching so if you get botox or disport or whatever in those muscles it basically relaxes them that's what botox is for so it's supposed to help you stop clenching and hopefully lead to not having as many headaches so I'm interested to see how this appointment goes it's only supposed to be a consultation and then I have another consultation at another clinic tomorrow morning so I kind of just want to see like I'm gonna compare the prices I think tomorrow's appointment is gonna be more expensive so I think I told myself a number in my head and if this consultation tells me it's less than that number i'm just gonna do it there because based on the reviews of the places i think tomorrow's place is more expensive so we shall see either way i'm very excited to just at least go to the consultations and see what they say because maybe they'll say like i'm not a good candidate for it for whatever reason i just don't know how it works so i'm excited to go out there but i'm leaving a little bit early because i wanted to go to target first because where this clinic is there's a different target next to it and they have a coffee creamer in stock that i've been wanting to try so if i have time before my appointment we're gonna run into target quick if not we'll go to target after but anyways yeah it's gonna take me a little bit to drive on over there so i will catch you when i'm there if you've watched me before you know i am not great about vlogging in public so we'll see how much i actually vlog while i'm there i'm gonna really try to but i guess i should show you my before and afters in case i do get it done so this is my face before my sides i don't know i don't think it's supposed to like physically change you that much i think maybe like your cheek thins out a little bit here if it's like less muscly i don't know the only issue is i really hope it doesn't make my like chin accentuate even more because that is like the one thing about my face i'm very self-conscious about is like how far my chin sticks out so i have a feeling if the, my face looks thinner it's gonna look even pointier which I'm not gonna love, but I need to get over that. Girls literally get chin implants. So <laughs> the grass is always greener. I need to get over that insecurity, working on it. But that was the only thing I was worried about with the Master Botox is I hope it doesn't accentuate my insecurity even more, but whatever. I'd rather not have headaches and have a crimson chin than have headaches 24 seven. I'm just rambling now. I'll catch you when we're there. Okay, you guys, I did it. <laughs> It was the exact price that I told myself it was, if it was less than that, I would get it done there. So I did it. And because it was technically like medical reasons, it was a lot cheaper than if you're just normally getting Botox for like cosmetic things. So that was sweet. Thank God, because it would have been literally so expensive if it was like their normal disport prices so i'm super happy about that and it just made me feel so much better because the nurse was like yeah your muscles are super strong and she said she gets it done so she was just like telling me all about it so that made me feel a lot better and i like fully expected it to hurt and it just it didn't it was so weird it was like you have to clench your muscle while she's like shooting it in there <laughs> so my muscle like got like achy but like it did not hurt at all but i'm also have a pretty high pain tolerance i would say so could be different for other people but you can kind of see i think there's two little holes here 
and then there's two little holes on the side and that's where the masseter is and then she did two in the temples on both sides too because your masseter muscle is i guess connected to a muscle in your temple so which makes sense because that's where i feel my headaches most of the time so i'm very very excited to see how it works out obviously i'm going to keep updating you guys throughout the week and We'll see how it works. I think she said like it's a couple days for you to fully feel the effects um, like medically, but she said after two weeks fully set in as much as it's going to be. So I have a follow up in two weeks and they do like up to five units of Botox or Dysport when you go in for follow up on them. So like if I need a little bit more, they'll do it for free. And yeah, I'm excited. I like kind of didn't expect myself to get it done there but uh, at the same time I'm glad I did because I know the place tomorrow was going to be way more expensive so I do need to cancel that appointment I really hope they don't charge me a cancellation fee but I think since it's just like a free consultation appointment hopefully they won't <laughs> but anyways I got it done I'm very excited to see how it works out now I'm going to Target to get that uh, creamer. It's the Mean Girls Limited Edition creamer and it tastes like pink frosting apparently. And that sounds absolutely delicious to me. So I'm going to get that. And Tanner has also been wanting chocolate animal crackers. So I'm going to pick some of those up for him as well. The creamer was out of stock. I hate this shit. Is that not recording? Horrible, horrible, terrible news, you guys. They were out of everything I went there for. So I went there for that Mean Girls creamer because it said it was in stock online this morning and I got there and it wasn't there and I looked on their app and it's out of stock and I think it's out of stock forever because it's a limited edition thing. So I'm very upset about that. <laughs> that sucks because I really wanted to try pink frosting creamer and they were also out of chocolate animal crackers. They had vanilla or like the regular animal crackers and frosted animal crackers, but no chocolate. So so much for tanner's little surprise i guess also being fully transparent with my whole botox or disport experience my head's starting to hurt already which she warned me it was a very possible to happen because it's kind of like micro needling or like acupuncture she said like it's basically sticking a needle in a muscle and that like makes it spasm and release whatever so she said it's very possible that i could get a headache after which i'm starting to so i need to take some Tylenol when i get home that's what she said i should take and i also don't think i said this earlier and i wanted to talk about it because i was looking so much online and like researching before this and i couldn't find anyone who gave like real answers so i wanted to say what i had i was looking up and trying to figure out like how many units it takes to get mastered or botox and like i could not find an answer anywhere and what minor said is it's anywhere from 15 to 30 units of botox or disport in each masseter muscle and if you do the temple it's anywhere from 5 to 15 units so she started me on the lowest for both so i did 15 units in the masseter and five in the temple on each side so it was a total of 40 units and for pricing i don't know if it's taboo i don't know if it's weird to talk about pricing of stuff online but i don't care i'm going to because that's what i was looking for i wanted to figure out like an estimate of how much things are going to be for stuff like this and the place i went it was eight dollars a unit but it was only because it was technically like a medical reason if you go there for cosmetic reasons i think they charge like 13 dollars per unit so for all of mine it was about 300 dollars, which was the amount i told myself i would get it if it was that or less so definitely on the cheaper end of like anything i've seen online when i was doing my research like it seemed like some places a charge up to like 20 dollars a unit which is crazy i don't know if it's crazy but it seemed crazy to me so i was very happy to figure out that this place was like the cheapest of anywhere i was looking so that was cool so hopefully that info is interesting to you if you're looking to get masseter botox and if you're not hope you liked my little math ted talk about botox and she did do disport not botox i just keep saying botox but disport is like the generic version of botox i'm pretty sure it's like the same thing so that's why it was also cheap because botox is more expensive because it's name brand you know we love a we love a generic around here speaking of not generic though since they didn't have either of the things I went there for, I got Pringles and they were on sale for three for six dollars. So I got Tanner's favorite, which is pizza Pringles. I don't think I've ever tried pizza Pringles, but he always brags about how much he likes those. So I got that. And then I also got two of my sour cream and onion Pringles. So at least I have something to snack on, but 
yeah thanks for coming to my ted talk you guys i'm gonna finish driving home and i will keep doing little updates on my botox hey guys it's the next day update on the botox i literally can't feel it at all it doesn't hurt at all i don't have like any bruises or anything anywhere so that's a good sign i didn't notice like me not clenching as much because it's not supposed to set in for like three days but good update that my head doesn't hurt and my like jaw didn't bruise because i was a little worried about that because i do like bruise pretty easily thank you so yeah that's the update there and then also today i'm super excited i made an appointment i've been debating on if i want to get lash extensions again um but i decided to make an appointment for just a lash lift first i want to see how much i like that just because it'll be like a little bit healthier for my lashes and it's gonna be cheaper in the long run i believe so i made an appointment for that and it is for tomorrow afternoon so i'll bring you guys with me for that appointment as well but i'm excited because i feel like my lashes aren't super short like i have lashes they're just straight and like you can't see them at all and technically my appointment is for a lash lift and tint but since my lashes are already like dark brown black i don't think we need to tint them so hopefully it'll be even cheaper than what the appointment said it is but matcha is literally so tired today for some reason she's been napping all day so yeah that's my little update for now i am really excited to see if like i notice any difference by tomorrow and like it's so weird like even if i press like it doesn't hurt at all. I'm confused. I guess I've like never had like this done in my face, obviously. So I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, but I kind of assumed it would like feel like something, right? But no, haven't felt anything yet. I did have like a horrible headache last night. It started like 30-ish minutes after my appointment and I feel like it lasted till like 8.39. So it was like a four hour headache. And usually my headaches like don't go away unless I go to sleep and sleep it off. But it went away after a couple hours. So I think it was just cause it, it was like irritating my muscles here and in my temple and just caused me to have a headache. So that was good. That didn't last very long, but it was very painful and annoying. <laughs> Hey guys, it is, what day is today? Oh yeah. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and today is the day I'm going to get my little lash lift and tint possibly tint. I don't know yet. I wanted to do a quick little eyebrow because I'm not supposed to wear makeup to get my lashes lifted, but I have a Zoom appointment with my doctor and I don't want to look like completely dead. So I feel like maybe putting a brows on will help a little bit with that. And then maybe I'll put more makeup on tonight depending on what I decide I want to do. My husband left this morning super early to go to New Orleans for a bachelor party. So me and the girly pops are having a girly pop weekend. Minnie, Sophie is very, very sad. Like she was sitting by Tanner's like luggage last night, just like literally shaking and so sad because she is such a daddy's girl. Um, Masha does not know any different because <laughs> she just thinks he's at work and she's never, Tanner's never been gone for a night since we've gotten Matcha. So I don't know how she's gonna react. I don't know if she'll care as much because Matcha is very much a mama's girl, <laughs> which is good. We each have one puppy that's obsessed with us, but I feel so bad for Soph. She is just heartbroken today. <laughs> she's being so dramatic about it, but I'm giving her extra love and cuddles and telling her it's okay but she is distraught without her father <laughs> which like how weird is that that like dogs literally know when someone's leaving like she knew as soon as he got his backpack and the suitcase out she was very concerned and then she just sat next to his luggage all of last night while he was like packing stuff into it it was so sad <laughs> yeah like i said matcha doesn't really get it yet because she's a puppy and also she just doesn't seem to care about much stuff like that. Like not to brag, but as long as I'm here, she's good to go. <laughs> so I think she probably will be sad after a couple days of him being gone, but we shall see. I obviously hope she doesn't get sad because that'll be awful if two puppies are sad about it. But anyways, did my little eyebrows. They look a little interesting, but I just wanted to do a little something and I didn't want to do it with my normal elf brow lift stuff and powder because then they're kind of sticky and I feel like if her hands are like here like trying to do my lash lift I don't want her hands to get all gross from it so doing the little brow pencil this is from GXVE I think that's the brand I don't know what this is I just remember I bought it on Sephora because it was on super sale during one of their Sell, th sell things it says hella on point ultra fine brow pencil yeah it's a gxve beauty 
I don't even know what that is, but this is a nice little go-to pen for easy brow application when I need it. But for my lash lift appointment, I need to find my headphones because I'm going to listen to some audiobooks while I'm getting my lashes done. And I'm very excited about that because when I used to get my lash extensions on, you literally are laying there for like three and a half hours on your first appointment. And then it's usually like an hour to an hour and a half fill every time. And I literally got so bored and I would listen to podcasts but it would just like I literally would feel like I was going crazy like it felt like when you're drinking a lot and you get the spins like that's what it felt like I just started getting the spins when I would be laying down so like I would have to lay down and stay still obviously you can't open your eyes which I think is like the thing that like made me the most like anxious about the whole thing and it literally would feel like I was spinning in circles and I kept feeling like I was gonna throw up and it was just awful <laughs> so that's another reason why I really hope the lash lift thing works because these take way less time than a lash extension set does so that would be nice first of all less money second of all don't have to sit there for as long but also now that I listen to audiobooks all the time I think that will be better than podcasts because like podcasts you'd never know before you listen to it if it's gonna be a good one or entertaining. And when you're getting your lash extensions done, it's not like you can skip it and go to the next one. Like you just kind of are stuck listening to it. But now that I have audiobooks, I feel like I'll be more into the book and like time will go by faster. So here are my lashes before. I am so white right now because I wasn't supposed to have anything on my face when I got my little Botox and you're not supposed to put on any like full makeup the day after. So I technically could put fake tanner or makeup on today, but since I was getting my lashes lifted, I didn't do that either. <laughs> so I think tonight we're gonna definitely do a little tanner situation so I can feel a little bit better. This is the before of my lashes. Like I definitely have lashes, but they just are straight out. So we'll see. I hope they end up looking a little bit better, but we'll see. If it doesn't look as good as I'm hoping, then I will get lash extensions next time, but I'm just really, hoping I love this instead because lash extensions are so expensive and they're so time consuming. Like I literally would have to go every two weeks to three weeks to get a fill. And I think lash lifts are supposed to last at least a couple of months. So this would be the way to go. If it'll work out for me, we'll see. Oh yeah. And we should do a little update on my Botox situation. So I don't even know if you guys can see it, but I have a teeny tiny little bruise here. Let's see. I have like a teeny tiny bruise here from like one of the little poke hole things. I don't think I have any bruising on this side and I don't have any bruising on my forehead at all. So I'm not sure why just this little spot bruised, but other than that, it literally doesn't hurt at all. I don't feel any different. Even when I'm like rubbing those areas, it doesn't hurt at all. I probably should have done a little bit more research on the after. I just did a lot of research on getting it done. <laughs> um, so I don't know if it's supposed to hurt. I doubt it's supposed to, but I also haven't felt any difference yet. I think it's like between three days and two weeks is when the full effect is supposed to set in. So it's only been technically a day and a half, but like two days since I got it done. So not supposed to set in yet, but I feel like my face looks exactly the same. My muscles feel exactly the same. I was still clenching my teeth last night when I was sleeping. So we'll see. I really hope maybe it starts setting in by tomorrow. That would be cool, but I will keep you guys updated. All right, it's a couple hours later. And as you can see, my lashes are not curled. <laughs> um, my lash lady texted me and her car like wasn't working. So we rescheduled it for tomorrow morning, which is totally fine. So tonight I think I wanna do my little face tanner since I can finally do it. And I'm gonna crimp my hair because my hair has been bothering me. So um, I think I'm gonna crimp my hair first and then we'll go in with the face tanner. I've crimped my hair about a hundred million times on this channel so not gonna bore you with it but I am gonna go in with this Joico Heat Hero Glossing Thermal Protector and then I'm gonna go through with my little bed head crimper. So here's the before. I'll be back in a minute. I finished crimping my hair. I feel so much better now and I'm gonna go in with this little hair oil I got from Amazon. I don't know. I love the hair mask from them so I got this and I literally can't remember if I tried it. Maybe I have. I feel like I have tried it and I was like it doesn't smell bad and people in the reviews were saying it did. Yeah I feel like I remember that now that I smell it. I just couldn't remember if I had used it before but basically I'm just running this oil through like the bottom half of my hair where it's a little more dry 
And then whatever is left on my hands, I'm just gonna run through the rest of it. I just love when my hair is crimped. I think it's so cute. Now that my hair is done, I'm gonna go ahead and try out that new tanner. I am really excited to see how it works. I hope it like looks actually tan. So this is the tanner. They sent a new one of it because the last one I got was cracked open. It's from the brand Nelly. Nelly, I don't know, but it has vitamin C in it and like different skincare products in it. So it's supposed to be like skincare and a tanner in one. But here's the new bottle, but I showed it in a different vlog, but I saved the what the liquid from the other bottle that broke. So I'm just gonna try to use this up first. I'm gonna mix it with some moisturizer. I'm gonna use this Kate Somerville Hydra Kate lotion. Hello? I don't even know where that lotion went, but some just shot out. I think I'm gonna do quite a few drops of this. Might do like two full droppers worth. Hopefully that's not too much, but I'm literally just gonna use it like I use any other tanning drops and Hope for the best. Also, it totally feels like a weekend, but I think it's just because Tanner's not here. And I feel like the only times that Tanner's not home is like when he's going out on the weekend. So that's probably why it feels like a weekend, but I have to remember, first of all, I need to get up early tomorrow to go to my little lash appointment because we rescheduled it for the morning before I start my little work from home job. So I really need to remember to actually wake up for that. <laughs> Um, first impressions of this tanner. It smells rank as hell. Holy crap. Whoa. That is not a lovely scent. That is a bit traumatizing to tell you the truth. So I think next time I will definitely be using a very fragrant moisturizer when I apply this, but I'm gonna wash my hands off so they don't turn orange. Alrighty, well that is it for me tonight. I am gonna probably just sit in bed for the rest of the night and read. So I will catch you guys tomorrow morning when I go to get my lash lift. Hey guys, next morning on my way to my lash lift, this is how the tanner looks. Definitely not as tan as some of the other tanners I've tried, but I think it looks very natural. It doesn't look orange at all. So that's a plus. I wonder if it layers well, so I might try another layer today. But anyways, going to the lash lift. I'll check in when I'm back. Alrighty, <laughs> my appointment took a little longer than I thought would. So I like barely made it back in time to start my little work from home day, but I wanna show you the lashes. So they're definitely curled, they're definitely lifted. I like them and I like that I can put mascara on them. So like hopefully they actually stay curled <laughs> and then in 24 hours I'm allowed to put mascara on them. But so far, this is how they look. I think I like them a lot. I'm gonna put some makeup on and then we'll see like the full effect of them. Alrighty guys, I did a little makeup look and I think I'm gonna absolutely love these lashes once I can actually put mascara on them. I really hope they stay this curled because I think they're so cute and I'm just like so happy to finally be able to have my natural lashes be curled. Like how crazy is that? <laughs> so hopefully this will work out and I won't have to get lash extensions because the thought of doing that every two weeks sounds horrible to me. <laughs> this should last like, she said like up to 10 weeks. So a little shorter than I thought. I thought it was like three months, but Either way, I'm still very happy about that. Lashes check, and now let's do a little update on my masseter Botox. I think this is the last update I'm gonna do in this vlog, but I will still keep updating you guys as I do my daily vlogs, just to like let you know how it's going, because obviously it's only been three days since I got it. I would say, I don't know if I'm imagining it, but this morning I still woke up and like I was clenching my jaw all night last night, but I feel like throughout today, I really haven't been, and like, I always used to clench like 24 seven. So I don't know if maybe I just haven't noticed it or if it's actually starting to kick in, which would be sweet. Again, no pain in either of the injection sites at all. It still feels like perfectly fine. And I don't have a headache today. So I mean, that's always a good sign. That's my review so far on the Masseter Botox. So far so good, but like I said, it's only been three days. So keep on checking back for the vlogs. I'll keep updating you guys how it's going. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this week of appointments. It was kind of a different vlog, but I had so much fun getting my little lash lift and getting my Botox. I think overall, I just like will feel so much better if I don't have a headache every day and if I'm not so frustrated about curling my lashes. So I'm very happy with both appointments and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys, Illy.